Hi everybody, thank you for watching. It's been some time since I've done a simple everyday makeup look. I think this look is perfect for those of you guys still in school or college or if you guys have work and you just kind of want to throw yourself together in a short amount of time. This makeup look took me under 15 minutes to do, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to learn how I got this look, please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm just applying a little bit of this Agave Lip Mask onto my lips because my lips have been super dry. I just wanted to thank one of my subscribers because you recommended this to me and I have been obsessed ever since I got it. It's literally like honey for your lips, I feel like. Next I'm priming my face with my favorite primer. This one is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and I love using this because it really smooths out any pores any fine lines and it kind of mattifies your face so if you guys are looking for a really good primer this one I definitely recommend spending the money on I use it all the time and my new favorite thing is to use a um, pore minimizing primer because it makes the foundation go on so much nicer and smoother and it doesn't seep into your pores I was thinking of filming a new contour tutorial for my nose because, look at this baby, so many people have been recently yelling at me saying that I got a nose job again and look at it. Does it look like I got a nose job? I don't think that. <laughs> for foundation I'm using the Matte and Poreless number 220 by Maybelline and I'm applying it with my MAC 190 brush. So you're just going to lightly apply it all over your face. Don't blend it in. Just kind of wipe it on. And then I'm blending my foundation in with my damp beauty blender. I've been loving the Beauty Blender to blend my foundation in because it really makes the foundation look flawless on your face. If you guys don't have a Beauty Blender, um, you can use a regular foundation brush, of course, so don't feel like you need to do this. Um, I've just been doing this lately and I've been liking how it looks, so that's just my little routine as, at the moment. For concealer, I'm using the Age Rewind in the color Light. And I love this concealer because it, it looks like it's coming out heavy, but it's very, very thin. So then you just blend in again. You just want to apply this concealer wherever you have like darker spots. If you have any pimples, of course, you can cover those as well. Next, I'm just filling in my brows with my Brow Bar To Go in the darker shade. If you guys want a full in-depth eyebrow tutorial, I just posted one, so I will link it for you guys. To set my concealer, I'm using this powder from Makeup Forever. It's the Pro Finish Powder. And this is just so the concealer won't crease. So next for bronzer, I'm using this new Too Faced Little Book of Bronzers. And it's all of their bronzers that they have in their collection. I actually have this in the larger version, so when it came in the mail and it was the smaller version, I was just like, oh my god, it's so cute. So I had to use it today. So I'm going to go with a matte bronzer. So I'm going to use the Milk Chocolate Bronzer right here. So 
So since we're just doing a simple everyday look, I'm not going to be contouring. I'm just going to be using these bronzer shades as a bronzer to kind of warm up my face. But I am applying the bronzer where I would normally apply my contour shade. So, I mean, if you guys have the time and you want to contour a little bit, you can use a more grayer tone right in your contour zones. But for today, I'm just going to add some bronzer. With my Sigma E40 blending brush, I'm going to be taking a little bit of that bronzer and just applying it right into the crease of my eye. And this is just to kind of make my eyes look more awake. So this part is 100% optional. Most of you probably won't have the time and I really don't recommend it, but just for me, since I'm so used to contouring my nose, I'm just going to take a Sigma E45 brush and the color Mink, it's a contour shade, the new one from Anastasia, and I'm just going to very lightly draw two little lines on the sides of my nose, and that's just, again, because I feel more comfortable that way. Once I learn how to contour my nose right, I just can't go a day without doing it, so call me crazy, but I'm just going to very lightly draw lines just to thin out my nose a little bit. So next moving on to blush, I'm using this one by NYX in the color Statement Red. I don't know why it's called Statement Red when it's pink, but... I like using these mineralized blushes because they give it a nice little shimmer and they're not too, too pigmented, so you just gotta build on them, which is good because sometimes when you put too much blush, it's like, oh no, can't really blend in and it kind of just ruins all the work that you already did. So next I'm just applying my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Next, moving on to lips, I'm using Strip Down by MAC to line them. And then for lipstick, I'm using Buttercup by Jarred Cosmetics. So this is the final result. It was super quick and super easy, so I hope you guys can incorporate it into your routines and hopefully it will help you guys throw yourself together in a short amount of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Please comment below and let me know what other videos you want to see this week because I am planning on getting up at least one more for you guys. But I love you so much. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.